brings up the question of camshafts. This, both of these engine applications are around 8.7 to 1. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have a particular cam preference, and you and I have discussed this in the past. I've even shared it with you. We built engines. You've done the machine work. I've done the assembly and fitment, and that sort of thing. And I am especially drawn to the Comp Cams 252 grind. I like Comp Cams, but beyond that, it's the specific grind that I'm drawn to. Sure. It has really good lift, mild duration, and very limited overlap so that you have an engine that produces a lot of manifold vacuum at a low RPM. Right. Would you agree that that's the combination for a trail running rock crawler? That's exactly. I have the cam in the office that, for this, and it's the 252H that you talked about, Moses. I'm in complete agreement. We're a comp cams dealer. I really like comp cam stuff. I run comp cams in my own race cars. I comp, there's a comp cam in that blown Chevrolet over there. Uh, they have a real good handle on all the different applications. They're I'll, I'll mention too, and I think it's worth sharing with the viewers, I've tried 260 grinds and there is a dramatic difference. Absolutely. So reading catalogs and seeing references to slightly more this in an RPM range that still looks attractive, like 1500 RPM instead of just a tip in off idle. Sure. I am a diesel guy. I like torque rise. Right. And especially with a long stroke motor, if I want to take advantage of that, I want that high manifold vacuum. And I want to uh, make sure that we keep very mild on the duration of the cam. Absolutely. And the other thing is, is those kind of camshafts are very gentle on valve train and they're very gentle on parts, so they run a long time. So it's a win-win.